I believe if I do something, it has to create a value. And whatever I do, I do it with a very much with passion. A man on a mission to achieve magnificent heights. A visionary who built an envious real estate empire over a span of around 15 years. Sushil Mantri established Mantri Developers in 1999 and since then, there has been no looking back. I'm a growth hungry person. Always I like to do something better, more superior. And if uh, I don't get anything as a target to achieve, then I see what was last year, why not better than that? And that's how, you know, I keep always moving out. Responsible for the ever-changing skyline of South India, Mantri Developers boasts of a diversified portfolio with a multitude of properties in the residential, retail and commercial sectors. We have done maximum amount of residential development. And after doing many residential development, we realized that what more can be given to the customer. Then we entered into the shopping mall because that adds value to our residential development. And now we are feeling like people don't like to travel too much. Then we started creating office. So the, my entire objective is like a work, play and live. All should be together. And that we are able to now provide. But it took years of sweat and toil to achieve such an enviable portfolio. Sushil Mantri was only 16 years old when he decided to join his father's wholesale textile business in Pune. My father uh, fell sick and then, you know, I started sitting in the, our textile shop and that's how my entry to the business came. And in two, three months time, I really loved the passion and I liked the business. And then I decided better to go for this. From science, I shifted to commerce and continued my journey. It was in 1987 that Sushil Mantri first experienced working in the real estate sector. Having joined his family's existing business, an ambitious lad, Sushil wasted no time in learning the nuances of property development. What is the really big mark made in my life is the recession in real estate. Because real estate is a cyclical business and in this business there are some good times, there are sometimes tough times. And uh, I remember incidents when I was uh, 28, that time first recession I have to face. And today whenever the recession comes, I really love it. Because uh, I can tell you, in good time we don't make money. Because good time we already sold all the flats, our customers make money. We don't make money. But in bad time, at the recession time, we really buy the same land. Instead of 100 rupees, we buy at 70 rupees. And that is what we made the real profit. An undying passion coupled with the desire to face challenges head on. Sushil Mantri was also responsible for saving their stockbroking firm from a possible shutdown in 1991. My father felt he should close down the business. And I was not prepared to close down because I thought I will take the management and we'll bring it back to the good shape. I took the business to my control and uh, we found there were many customers we were having, many clients, small, big, everything. And then we applied the Peratos formula of 80-20, where 80% 80 customers we said we can't deal with you. They were basically loss-making customers and we reduced the 80% customers. And within six months, our that company become very profitable with 20% customer because we were able to give a far superior quality of service to them. And that business has really grown thereafter in a big way. Having mastered the art of being a business leader, Sushil Mantri leapt into the manufacturing line in 1996, where he gained hands-on experience at Ahmednagar Forging Limited. That time, our major customer was uh, Tata Motors and their sale was down and almost uh, 
65 percent the turnover was down for Tata Motor. It was a tough time for them. And when our customer is in tough situation, we were ancillary. It became more tougher for us. It took three to six months time to bring back the good production load capacity. Then we gone for a heavy cost cutting because all these customers they felt unless we give cheaper price, there was no reason for them to buy from us. And we have to reduce our selling prices drastically. And ultimately, we were able to do a good job. And in two years, we again become very profitable. A splendid journey of over 30 years. Snehal Mantri, his wife, looks up to him for his impeccable entrepreneurial skills. This is my 31st year of journey with Mr. Mantri. And it was a lovely journey because I have learnt a lot from him because every moment he has been challenging me what you should do and what you should really come up in your life. So it was really truly a kind of uh, knowledge seeker and uh, knowledge uh, giver and always he keeps me on the toes. A source of inspiration to friends and family, Sushil has left an everlasting impression on all those around him. When we had just shifted to Bangalore, that was a very tough time and uh, he had just taken up the first property to develop and I could see what went into it. So we had met the landlord at that time and I was still a kid but I could still understand what was going on and the dedication he showed that time, it really inspired me afterwards to, you know, just be straightforward with whoever you meet. That's, that's how that entire last 10 years has happened. Just be straightforward, be genuine with whoever you're talking to. And if you can do that, uh, the sky's the limit. One of the main lessons that, rather advice, not lessons, but advice that he's told me is uh, take decisions. Whatever it is, take a decision. You may be wrong, you may fall, you will learn. An adventurous journey in the world of business. A journey which made him an incredible leader. Sushil Mantri molded himself along the way and continues to implement his learnings even today. Passion is a basic requirement. Whether you have education background or not really doesn't matter. That passion can overtake everything. That's one. Whatever you do, do it with a sincerity. Results will come today, maybe one or two years later, doesn't matter. This is the second thing. And whatever you do, keep time in your mind because the time is very, very important. Many projects in India get delayed because the time factor has been ignored. I think whatever you do, time is very, very important. A burning desire to reinvent and hone his skills, Sushil Mantri applied for an educational stint at the prestigious Harvard University at the age of 48. I have completed uh, graduation. I have done BCom from Pune BMCC College. And, but always desire was there to learn more. But unfortunately, I got so engrossed in the business, I couldn't get any time. And then at the age of 48, I thought I need to have a better graduation because in our company, everybody is much more educated than me. They command a far superior degree than me. I thought I must also carry some good degree so that at least, you know, they will also look upon to me. And uh, then I decided the best university in the world is uh, Harvard. And I applied for my admission in uh, OPM program in Harvard Business School. I got selected. I have completed that. And now, as on date, I am alumni of Harvard Business School. On the other side of the break, watch the inspiring story of the man who is making the skyline of South India even more enchanting. A risk taker, an entrepreneur, and born with business in his blood. Sushil Mantri wanted to scale heights quite literally. He moved bag and baggage from Pune to Bangalore with the ambition to create his own real estate empire. What started as a business venture has now become a passion. 
with Mantri developers becoming one of India's leading property giants. Out of a leap of faith was born Mantri Developers Private Limited in 1999 with the first residential project Mantri Woodlands. In 2003, Mantri Altus became the first property from the company's portfolio that attracted sellers by invitation. In 2006, Mantri Developers was one of the first real estate developers to attract FDI when it raised 68 million dollars from Morgan Stanley at the entity level. In 2009, the Karnataka government presented Mantri Developers with a gold medal in recognition of their work and properties. In 2010, Mantri Developers launched the Mantri Square, which is one of the largest malls in India with over 10 million footfalls in less than seven months. And in 2014, Mantri Developers launched the Metro Station as its first public-private partnership venture with the Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation. We started with about 100 to 200 apartment kind of project, and gradually now today we are doing 5 to 6,000 apartment single project. But uh, during the journey, we have done maximum amount of residential development. I always take care of the design element of the projects because I feel the customers' inputs are more in, uh, important for us, which we can translate into a design. And uh, post possession, we take care of the customers. Too. In just a short span since its inception, Mantri Developers, led by founder and entrepreneur Sushil Mantri, has been recognized as a world-class real estate company, with many stellar properties to its name. Completed, we have done Mantri Altiers, which is a very, very prime and uh, prime destination today. Also, it's getting resold at around 35 to 40 thousand rupees a square feet, which is highest uh, selling price in entire South India. Then we have done Mantri Tranquil. It's the first large project done by Mantri developer with 1,200 apartments. It has a huge uh, landscape and garden spaces. It's really to the meaning of Mantri tranquility. It has a lot of tranquility. Then recently we are doing about 46-story tallest uh, residential tower in South India. That's Mantri Pinnacle. Within its portfolio of residential properties, Mantri Altus occupies a special place of pride. Catering to the elite clientele of Bangalore, this super premium residential project was a big success. We thought we will create something unique, which will be the like a bungalow in the sky. Means we will give all the facilities of bungalow, but we will keep it in a sky so that they can have a great view. And uh, bungalow, I feel, has a lot of disadvantages like you are on ground floor, safety issues, you cannot have too many facilities, and you are gardener also of the home, you are watchman also of the home. So many things you have to do. So we didn't. We wanted to get away from all these problems, but have the advantages of bungalow, have a spacious room, like-minded people, neighborhood, and everything, and you have a privacy. Then we came out with the idea of Mantri Altiers. Carved in luxury, Mantri Altiers, a 17-floor exclusive residential tower, brought the essence of luxury living for the first time to Bangalore. A phenomena which was mostly restricted to the other flamboyant metros of Delhi and Mumbai. One of the most luxurious buildings in Bangalore. That's how it came up. It's a, a one flat per floor, which is great. There was, this idea was never ever conceived. So you come into lift straight into your floor, which was great. Then uh, going up, you had a lovely view. What he had is he put balconies all round, which was fantastic. You know, in your bedroom balconies, in your sitting room, dining room, kitchen. The balcony is all round, so you had a whole 360 degrees view of the whole place. And uh, only there were only 12 of us living in this whole building. I think 12 or 13 of us living in this whole building, which was very great. Not just content with the rising portfolio of residential projects, the aim was now to spread the umbrella and embrace as much of the real estate market as they could. And the bold stride came in the form of Mantri Square. This Mantri Square, where just now we are here, this is our uh, dream project. Because what happened? We took this property for residential development, but one fine day we realized that uh, Bangalore Metro Railway has decided to acquire and they were uh, acquire the property, and they were cutting in a diagonal shape. So that was spoiling the whole shape of the property, and uh, it was quite a shocking news to us. 
But then we studied and uh, came out with the idea why not we do a shopping mall. Because shopping mall supports metro, metro supports shopping mall. And our realization also can be better. And uh, we designed the shopping mall, we created it. Built as one of India's largest malls, spread over 1.7 million square feet, Mantri Square boasts of a whole host of brands under just one roof. Like I find the place really comfortable, cool, you know, like the place is really happening. I can say like lots of things to and lots of things to shop around, like all under one roof, like all premium good brands and like uh, last month we had a sale. So like nice place to shop with and it's a good experience shopping in Mantri Mall. It's a nice place. Mantri Mall has uh, three factors. One is they've got two uh, stores like multi-brand outlets where you don't have to hop into another mall. You get everything here, one shopper stop and the other one lifestyle. Apart from that, you get uh, there's a food court, an amazing place to you know, munch. And uh, it's, it's quite uh, user-friendly. And not just that, it has the metro running straight through it. Taking bold steps and a vision to achieve the unthinkable is the only way forward in the real estate industry. And that's the mantra that made this go-getter soar to greater heights. In the real estate line, you need to take a big bet. There is no choice to you. Because this business is very risky. And as I mentioned to you, every minute, every day we can do a creativity. But I have definitely taken a bold step. They were riskier, but uh, I always do that. And if you see in my uh, last 15 years, I might have taken a many risky decision. But I would say my success rate is 90% plus. And that gives a confidence to take further bold decisions. It's the same passion that permeates through the company, with the employees at Mantri Developers taking a cue from their founder. Working with Mr. Uh, Mantri is an, a nice, uh, rich experience, though it's very tough. Working with promoters is not that easy because they are entrepreneurs and uh, they expect always the best out of every individual or any individual for that matter. While my career I work all only with the promoters, so this is uh, one more different way of working with a different mindset of the promoter who looks at business in a different angle. So that is one experience which I'm gaining. I joined Mantri about a year back. It was a very good journey because I'm coming from the hospitality sector. A lot of learning because I handle various verticals. One is the real estate, one is the mall, one is the uh, prop care division. And it is, uh, uh, we are operating as you know in four states uh, like Karnataka, Hyderabad, you are uh, Chennai as well as in Maharashtra. So entire all the verticals I handle. A lot of day-to-day uh, -day issues and we are doing uh, a lot in HR to make our people the most uh, preferred uh, associate or most preferred associates in our company. Working here at Mantri, I think the top management is very, very approachable. You go with them, you know, on any query or any concern, they immediately help you solve it or they, you know, share details with you, which is, I think, very uh, nice. They don't, you know, pass it down to people like what they do in other organizations. So I think that that makes a lot of difference working in Mantri. With projects that are getting bigger and grander, Sushil Mantri not only has happy buyers, but also has the satisfaction of doing what he's passionate about. Real estate business, at every step, you have a feel of uh, creating a skyline. Because tomorrow we will not be there, but our buildings will be there, people will remember us. So we are actually creating the skyline of the city. And here every day, in the designing, you put extra contribution, you get a great product, unique product. People appreciate that. The journey is well on the way for monthly developers who are building the skyline of the country, one property at a time.